Hey guys, how are you today? So I'm going to be doing an October update. Lots of things going on in October, uh, especially this week because I'm going to be attending with my society uh, the um, National Capital Orchid Society show and sale. I was there last year and I will be there again. Uh, this time as president, but we will have a display set up um, at the show and uh, we're, we're gonna have lots of fun that's all I got to say so I'm gonna be doing the October um, update it's a lot going on I can't believe it's October already but this it's just wonderful um, the only thing bad is it's starting to get cold at night times so, um, it's been in the 30s already the upper 30s at night time so the greenhouse gets shut up and the heater gets turned on at night times but let me take you down and we'll get started we'll start off with this little cutie this is dendrobium hardy jackson i got this from odom's last year what a cute little flower um i don't know if you can tell it has a very bright and vibrant fuchsia inside that lip it's so pretty and the white just accents that pink really well. You can see the little damage that I did. I draw, it fell over while I was watering, and it, um, the lip got nicked by a rock. Because that is the bottom of my greenhouse, and it's all rock. So it's still beautiful, and I really do love it. There's a little bit of um, pink veining, but really pretty. All the catacetums are doing wonderful. They're all up here trying to get as much light as possible um, before the end of the season. And back there is an update on the buds of the uh, catacetum Chuck Taylor by um, Denticulatum. So those buds are definitely coming along. This is my Ingrecum leones, which uh, my grandma, my grandmother got for me from a show in. Florida and she brought it up to me probably around a year ago now but if you look inside this I just noticed this yesterday while I was watering I think we have a spike so I'm really excited about that um, be the first time it blooming for me I've never seen it um, the Leonis in person but definitely a beautiful orchid um, Naoki if you are watching this video your Ingrecum that you sent me um, has started to put out new root tips attaching to the cork that it was on. It's hard to see. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see those green root tips down below. I'm trying to get the light to hit the root. There they are. So I'm really happy about that and hopefully it continues to grow new roots. Um, kind of see them wise. They're just like really finishing their growing season starting to yellow a few leaves and drop uh, and I've noticed a couple of swelling notes so we should know within a couple weeks if they have started to spike or not down below here this Yamadara Redland Sunset has its sheath and hopefully we will be able to finally see it then bloom um, my Phalaenopsis that I got from the show is producing more buds. I don't know if they'll swell up. They've grown a lot just in a couple days, but I don't think they're, they'll swell up in time for the show. But nonetheless, I'll be able to enjoy them in my greenhouse. Sadly, um, I think I had a little bit of a spider bite issue this year with um, my catacetums, and I think it got to my Shreliana. And this is the newest leaf, and it looks like they just rip it, ripped it to shreds. And it's starting to turn yellow, which is really sad. It's still really healthy, just the new leaf just, just dying, and that's not good. But I treated it, and I've been treating my whole collection um, for spider mates, because that's the only um, really insect that I've had a problem with. Uh, pest I should say this year has been spider mites 
Uh, I've got spikes coming on my Oncidium uh, Tequila Sunset Sunrise, and it's a Telonia. Um, just take it around. You can see the butterworts is just humongous. We have some spikes um, on um, the Dracula Lotex, so hopefully they will, you can see spikes here and there, um, hopefully they'll mature fully. I've had a lot of spikes on this plant and they just, right before they um, are about to produce their bud, it just blasts, so I don't know. Uh, if it's a humidity issue or um, they don't like to be bothered too much or I'm just not able to keep up with the watering it just needs a lot of water but the plant itself is very healthy over there that Phalaenopsis has a spike coming on it just nice the twinkle up here that got severely burned has a whole bunch of spikes coming on it Um, everything's just doing wonderful. I'm really happy with how big my leaf span is um, this year on my Gigantia. This is Variety Spots. Um, so, uh, hopefully it will bloom this winter. Um, spring, late winter, early spring. Show you my hanging plants now. This is a miniature, you've seen it before. This is Vanda uh, Vietnamica by Vanda Moch Ruby Pixie. Very nice plant, really starting to get established to the pot finally. Um, and the leaf span has started to grow in its width, which is just amazing. Um, just a sign of a very healthy plant. Very happy with it. Back here, this is a, one of the Nigeokis I have, and it's starting to grow in its leaf span as well. As you can see, on uh, these leaves, when I first got it and I potted it up and stuff like that, it didn't do too well. And it was also winter, like by the time I got them potted up and they started to get established, it was a fall, winter time, so they couldn't really take off like they should have but um this this summer has really led them to taking off so hopefully this will bloom next year this is Asuka Central Mini Autumn and I got this from RF Orchids when I bought it it didn't really have an amazing root system and then when shipping when I shipped them all the roots really kind of didn't fare too well in shipping especially because I, I believe uh, that species just don't do very well when you um, ship them and they're out of their environment but um, it's starting to put out new roots which I'm really happy about get prepared before they start to slow down for winter time this is uh, Vanda Hiroshima Choice starting to put out a Kiki. This is Vanda Dissoniana by Falcada. Beautiful, cute little flower. I love it to death. That's why I bought this plant. Sadly, it didn't bloom this summer. Um, I believe the same thing that happened to all the other ones. Um, you can see how small this leaf was. And that's when probably around the winter time when that matured and then as you can see now how what, like how much it's grown since that time um, so hopefully we will get a beautiful display of flowers next year back there you can see the Vanda still doing wonderful um, that's probably going to come to the show with me this is Vanda de Soniana, uh, and this is the orange variety starting to mature bigger leaves. This is the Vanda that um, Maria gave me from her channel, and this is a 
Banda de Soniana by Insignis. It's um, starting to put out new leaves, so that's nice. Uh, I've been trying to get the roots to start to come back from shipment. And as you can see, there's some new root growth. The last hanging, well, there's two more actually, but this is one of the last. Um, this is Vanda Insignis from Moats, obviously. Uh, beautiful plant, really starting to mature nicely. Uh, I had some problems with, well, I guess, bacteria or maybe it got sunburn. I can't remember. That was last year. I think it was sunburn. I think that was the time. Yeah. So anyway. Um, it's really starting to mature nicely and hopefully uh, in a few years we'll be able to see its blooms. Now this is Gigantia variety orange and as you can see it's not maturing um, humongous leaves like the other one is. I'm treating them exactly the same. This one's just uh, not, I guess just not liking the environment as much but that one down there, the one that I did show you, is just doing wonderful and I'm really happy about it. But this one just seems to not do quite as well. But we will see uh, if it blooms around springtime.